Welcome to the Gustafson Center. This is where your tour will start. In this building, we house a couple of different things. Right now, I am on the admission side, so this is where we handle all first year admissions and transfer admissions, international admissions as well. And on the other side of the building, we have our Career Development Center, and they can help students with resumes and interviews for future jobs. So right behind me, we have our public safety office. Public safety runs 24 seven, so students are always safe. They can help you with anything you need from unlocking your room if you lock yourself out to even jumpstarting your car. Welcome to the athletic complex. Down this hallway, I have a couple of different things that I like to point out. First, we have an equipment room, so if you want to play a game of baseball, soccer, volleyball, anything, and you don't have the equipment you need, you can actually rent it using your student ID, which means it's totally free for students. We also have racquetball courts at the end of the hallway, and a fun fact, our president of SNA2, Paul LeBlanc, loves to take on students, so if you like to play racquetball, you could have an opportunity to play Paul, which would be something pretty cool. And also down that hallway, we have a small cardio room. So if you want to work out in a smaller location instead of our bigger gym, which we will see later, it's a great opportunity for you. So right over here, we have our campus recreation room. And this is where our varsity and our club dance team practices. And in this room as well is where all of our group exercise classes are. So we have things such as yoga, Zumba, cardio kickboxing, and it's a great new way to try something new. This is our small gymnasium here on campus. We do have a bigger gymnasium, but this is our small one. One of the cool things about this gym is that the floors are like a rubber material, so it's great for students have like wet shoes or shoes they wouldn't normally wear. It won't damage the floors. In this gym, we also have batting cages that come down for our baseball and softball players. So when it is doing some type of New Hampshire weather outside, whether that be rain or snow, they still have a place to practice. There's also a stage in this gym, which can be used for bigger events. For instance, Michelle Obama actually came and did a speech a few years ago. Welcome to our big gym here on campus, and this is also known as the Stan Spiro Fieldhouse. Here at SNHU, we are a Division II school and we are part of the NE10 conference. This is the gym where all of our varsity basketball and volleyball games are held. Other than this being a gym and used for sporting events, we also have a major concert in here every single year. Right behind me, we have our fitness center or our gym here on campus. It is set up like a Planet Fitness, so you have your cardio in the back, your machines in the middle, and then your free weights up front. This facility is free for students to use. All you have to do is go in, drop your student ID off at the desk, and then you work out until your heart's content. Welcome to Newcastle Hall. Right now we are standing in the lobby and there are a couple things that I want to let you know about. So right behind everyone, we have our resident director's office. Across the hall from the resident director, we have the resident assistant. There are two resident assistants per floor of each dorm and these this is actually a student job. So if you want to help students like yourself, this would be a great opportunity for you. Resident assistants, their job is to help build community throughout the dorms, so every RA is in charge of putting on programs. So this is our laundry facility within Newcastle Hall. Laundry is located on the first floor of every single dorm. Laundry costs $1.25 to wash and $1.25 to dry, but don't worry, you'll never have to carry around any spare change with you. On your student ID, there will be a plan called Penman Cash, and this is kind of like a debit card type of system, so you or anyone can load money up onto it, you use it until the money runs out, and you keep doing that. So doing laundry is super easy, you just bring your laundry here, put the detergent in, and then you swipe your card to do laundry. So this is what a typical dorm room looks like here at SNHU. This is a typical double. So the rooms come with the beds, the desk, the chairs, and the wardrobes, and everything else you should bring yourself. Some things you are totally able to bring would be like bedding, any pictures, or anything you want to decorate your room, and you can bring a mini fridge. You're not allowed to bring a microwave though, um, just some university policy. If you do want to have a microwave within your room, you can actually rent a micro fridge through a brand that partners with the university and that way you can have a microwave in your room. If you don't though, there are microwaves in every single common room of each dorm so you never have to worry and plus that way your room won't smell like popcorn for hours after you decide to make some. 
Welcome to Belknap Hall. This is where our School of Education is. It features a lot of things for our students that help them learn. We have interactive whiteboards all around the building, even whiteboard tables, and we have a project room where our students can collaborate and offers a lot of material for our School of Ed students. This space also offers collaborative spaces for students as well as all of the School of Education's professors' offices. So welcome to Kingston Hall. This is our brand new dorm that opened in the fall of 2018. And this residence hall houses um, over 350 students. Right over here, we have our welcome desk. So students will welcome people as they come into the building. And we also have some games for students to be able to play. We have a pool table, we have shuffleboard, and we also have ping pong. One of the unique things about Kingston Hall is we actually have a kitchen available for all students to use. And that being said, the first floor of the dorm is actually open from seven to seven, meaning you don't need an ID to get in. So one of the things that we have in our student center would be our Penman Place. Penman Place is one of six cafes that we have here on campus, and it is also a convenience store. So there are different things, such as toiletries, different types of beverages and snacks. And the cool thing it does is that everything comes off of your meal plan, so you never have to worry about carrying any extra cash around if you want to purchase something here. Right to everyone's right, we have our Postal Service Office, which is a great place for students to send and receive mail through the university. If you live here on campus, you get a silver mailbox and you'll get the same one for however many years you live here, so it makes it really convenient for you to get your mail. To the other side of the building, we have our campus bookstore. Now, if you split this directly in half, half of it will be everything you need for classes, such as textbooks, pens, paper, notebooks, anything you would need. We do price match textbooks through Amazon, which is really helpful for students. And the other side of our campus bookstore is all of our SNHU apparel, so shirts, sweatshirts, anything like that. Right behind me, we have our club resource center. This houses all of the different clubs and organizations we have here on campus. It is a great place to go if you want to start a club or have any questions about any clubs we do have. We do have over 75 clubs and organizations, so there has to be something for everyone. So right behind me, we have our concierge desk. They can serve as a typical hotel concierge. They can help students with directions on and around campus as well. One of the things that our concierge can do is that they can provide students with free city bus passes and a free bi-weekly shuttle service that goes down to Target, Market Basket, and Walmart. So welcome to our last chapter pub, which is our pub here on campus. This is a great hangout spot for students and one of the reasons might be because they offer free snacks and free soft drinks to all students. In this space, there is also a pool table so students can play a game of pool. There is a stage where a bunch of events can happen, such as hypnotists and open mic nights. And it's just a great space to hang out with friends. So welcome to the Green Center. In this building, there are just a bunch of offices that I like to point out. Uh, so if you follow me, we can get started. So right behind me, we have our Office of Residence Life. This is a great place to go if you have any questions regarding housing, roommates, anything like that and a great place to go if you're interested in becoming an RA. So right over here, we have our Office of Diversity Programs. SNHU is really proud to be a very inclusive campus, so we try to include everyone and anyone that we can. Our Office of Diversity Programs has some infinity groups for students, so if you belong in a certain group and want some extra support, we will have that available for you. So right behind me, we have our Office of International Student Services. This is a great place for our international students to go to get that support for transitioning from their home country to going to university here. This is a great office to go for cultural programs as well. So right behind me, we have our academic advising office. Your first year here at the university, you get an academic advisor and they can help you with anything you need from changing your major, adding a minor, and they even put together your first semester schedule for you. Right over here, we have our Chandler Center for SNHU. The Chandler Center is a great place to go for community service. So welcome to our College of Engineering, Technology, and Aeronautics. Here at SNHU, your average class size will be around 14 students with the maximum class size of around 30 students. This is really great because it keeps classes nice and small for students. Our student to faculty ratio is 16 to one. So again, keeping those nice small numbers for students, which is one of the main reasons I'm here today as a student at SNHU. 
So the CETA building features majors such as construction management, anything to do with engineering, our aviation programs, and computer science. Each floor of this building has a step to do with our design process. On the first floor is a space where there are classrooms and design hubs allowing students to come up with ideas. Next, going to the basement, we have our machine shop, which allows students to actually design those ideas that they had. The second floor is where we will find labs, such as a drone lab, where students can actually test these prototypes they made in the basement. So on the third floor, we will find computer labs, and this is a great place for students to go to get acquainted with any technology needed for their studies. There are also multiple study spaces within the building for students to use so they can study when out of class. So welcome to our dining hall that we have here on campus. In this facility, you will find a number of different options for food, such as pizza, pasta, we have a grill, we have deli, salads, and we have specials as well. There is also a dessert station and a cafe, and I guarantee you will find an option that works for you. This is our Penman Stadium. It opened in the winter of 2018 and offers a lot of things for our athletes here at SNHU. We have an eight lane track and a nine lane sprint, a jumbotron that plays back slow motion replays, and there's a gym for our varsity athletes. So our final stop on tour today will be our library. Our library is three floors and the higher you go up, the quieter it gets. Inside our library, we have a cafe, we have computers which are hooked up to all of our printers, we have study rooms which students can reserve up to two hours at a time. We have our IT help desk. We have a help desk to just help you out with general questions about the library. We have a really cool innovation lab in Makerspace where there are 3D printers, laser etchers, a bunch of different types of technology, all free for students to use. We also have our learning commons, which is a great space for students to get help with classes, which is a tutoring system. We also have books all up on our third floor, and we have a balcony as well. Thank you so much for joining me on tour today. If you have any questions, please give our office a call at 603-645-9611.